Hi, right. good day, Sensaris. In today's brief tutorial, we are going to consider mathematics step one, exam build up preparation, as well as exam build up revision. We are going to use a 2023 GCE paper one, question two, and the question is under algebraic expressions where we are going to expand and simplify. So the question says simplify to open brackets x plus 3y close brackets minus 3 open brackets 4x minus 2. When told to simplify, you should firstly identify two things. The first and the foremost is that when you have the brackets, you should be able to expand. To expand simply means to use a number outside the brackets to multiply each and every component in the brackets. Then to simplify is simply considering the terms with the same variables grouped together, either added or subtracted in order to create the final answer. So we're going to say this is two open brackets, x plus, that is 3y, close brackets, minus 3, open brackets, 4x, that is minus since I have rewritten the expression given, I am to expand. So I'm going to say 2 times x. When a digit is multiplied by a variable, the answer is that digit together with the variable combined. So 2 times x is as good as 2x. And then plus, do not forget, 3y is also part of what is in the bracket. Hence, it should also be multiplied with 2. So 2 times 3, this one is going to give us 6, together with y. You check if at all you've multiplied correctly. So you say 2 times x, 2x, plus 2 times 3, 6, together with y, minus, or we say negative 3 times 4, this is going to give us negative 12, together with x. And then this negative multiplied by a negative is going to give us a positive 3 times 2, this one is going to give us a 6. So I'm going to find that 3 times 4 is 12. Negative times this positive, which is there, is going to give us that is a negative. That which we've done is what we call expansion. Having done that, it means we are now liable to simplify. So we're going to group like things together. Mind you, an examiner is very clever. You just have to be a critical thinker. Seeing 6y here doesn't guarantee that it has a like thing. But they had to ensure that when you multiply 3 times 2, there was a 6, which would tempt you to group it together with 6y. But as long as this 6 doesn't have the letter, it means they are unlike terms. So I'm going to say this is 2x. When grouping like terms, it's more like we are rearranging with their original signs without having to change anything. Because when you are simplifying, you are going to obtain an expression which doesn't have an equal sign. Hence, none of the, ex the terms in the expression should change its sign. Instead, it is just rearranged or changed of its own position. So 2x, and then when we pick 12x, we have to pick together with, that is this negative. So minus negative 12x. Then I'm going to say plus 6y. And then plus, that is a 6. Then 2 minus 12, or 2 cannot subtract 12 which shows the answer is going to be in a negative form. So this is going to be negative. Then 2x minus 12x, this is going to give us 10. And then what is common is x. And then plus 6y, then plus 6. Having done that, it means we've expanded and simplified, though we've simplified the given expression to its uh, simplest form. Make sure that you follow this particular Facebook page leave a comment share the video and subscribe to my youtube channel for sense academy in order to ensure that you get alert every time we post a new video till next time for now it's a very good time